Hey y'all, welcome back for uh, more Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. Uh, I thought it was going to be a two-part series, it ended up being a three-part series. Part of it was just the incredible length that it is, but part of it is my computer has a hard time rendering things that long. So, um, yeah, here we go, part three. We'll see if we can wrap this thing up in a nice little package. And uh, it seems like a happy ending is on our way. We're moving towards happiness. Oh, fuck. Her father tried to help her, but she wouldn't listen. He was doing his best. She never, ever listens. Didn't she go to help her? He tried to help her. He was trying to save her from the darkness. Zinbel was right. Zinbel was trying to save her from the darkness. But she wouldn't listen. She never listens. And now everybody is dead. Because of her. It's all her fault. All her fault. She's weak. <laughs> She's so weak. She should have known. It's weird because... She should have thought. Why doesn't she learn? Why doesn't she learn? This game makes it hard for me to even now talk. Like I, I'm in a, I was in a great mood. As soon as I started playing, I was like, all right, everything's grand. And then I started playing, and it was immediately like, she's let the darkness in. It's the end. The darkness will take her like it took her mother. Although Sigurd kills the dragon, Rian wants to keep Fafnir's gold all for himself. Rian also wants the strength and wisdom of the dragon, so he drinks its blood and asks Sigurd to roast Fafnir's heart for him. Sigurd does so, but when he touches the roasted heart to see if it is done, he burns his finger. Without thinking, he licks his finger and tastes the dragon's blood. In that moment, he understands the language of birds and hears them talk nearby. The darkness will take her pretty cool. The beast knows. The beast yeah, knows exactly where she is. She's falling for it. She falls for their tricks every time. Plays into his hands. The dark is going. Where is it going? She was never here. Sigurd's new found power lets him hear the birds speak. And they say, Sigurd should eat the heart itself. Rian wants Fafnir's gold. Sigurd should kill Rian before Rian kills him. Sigurd should find Brynhild, the Valkyrie, who sleeps in enchanted sleep. <coughs> the bird's advice. He kills Rain, eats Fafnir's roasted heart, and takes Fafnir's treasure. And he embarks on a new quest. To ride to Hinderfell and find Brynhild, the Valkyrie. So I need to presumably light a fire on this side of the fence here. Now I don't want to hate on my girl Senua here. <coughs> I'm going to have to run through the waterfall and be in the dark with that monster. Right, because the only way to project it is to light this torch right here. It's kind of throw your torch up, up, up right there, girl. Come on, girl. So 
Not even really that dark over there. I don't know where to go. Probably supposed to go through that part. see that the first time. Senua. Dillian. She can't help but think of him. A tender guiding flame in a world so black. The longer it burned, the more she convinced herself that there was nothing beyond its reach. How little separates us from what we fear. Only a man who knew no fear would ever reach her. But like me, Sigurd is fearless and passes through the flames just as I did. And wakes the sleeping warrior. Sigurd learns that Brynhild had once disobeyed Odin, and so he had her punished, stuck her with a sleep thorn, and put her body within a rampart of burning shields. Only a man who knew no fear would ever reach her. But like me, Sigurd is fearless and passes through the flames just as I did and wakes the sleeping warrior girl. She teaches him the secret wisdom of runes, namely victory runes, ship runes, runes for persuasion, runes for truth, runes for healing and help, runes for perception and power. Like Sigurd, the greatest young warrior of the north, you must learn the secrets of the runes to fight amongst the gods in hell. Do you have your water right there, Rachel? Oh, it's on the counter. <coughs> Thank you. Time out, water break. Had a little throat scratchy. 
Any hoozles, here we go again. Yo. It's a grand crackers. I said Rachel's opening a package of grand crackers. Just in case. I most likely have an edge out for most of it, but it might be a period where. It only can get attacked by the. Oh, now I can attack it with everything. for some reason. Oh, he hit me on like the... She's injured. Ouch. Damn, that sucks because I was in that fight too. Fucker. Okay. 
Ah, okay, so only my first hit has to be with the magic. I don't have to hit him every time with it. Can, my controller vibrates when I can I can hear him moving around. So like it's vibrating right now. So I know he's coming from that way. The only reason I know that is because the little voices told me. People think of evil as an unnatural, invisible force, and so invoke the guards for protection. But evil can come from the hand behind the guards. A familiar hand, cold and cruel. He tried to fix her with his rituals, kept her trapped in that hole. She couldn't say which was worse. The darkness. Or the monster that her father had become. She couldn't fight them both. And so she left. Headed for the one ray of light that shone down on her. If she had stayed, she wouldn't have survived. Maybe Delian would still be alive. I'm so sorry, my love. She will save his soul. Even if this time, she can't save her own. Forgive me, Senua. I know you have no reason to trust me anymore. But believe this. It was my mission to make you hate. To hate the darkness with a passion so great it would focus your mind on this quest. Without it, I fear you would have let go of 
Jesus looks like. All this time, I've wanted to protect you from the truth that would have destroyed you a long time ago. But you have conquered your darkness at every turn. You deserve to see behind the veil of darkness. Then take me to the He wants her to trust him as deep as we can go. No. I won't stand in your way. She has to trust him. You will not survive what is in there. Damn, I love God, I love her. She wants to go forward. She must be stupid. She wants to save Dillian's soul. She must listen to the shadow. Keep going, Senua. You can't just keep going. I don't know about it. It's too dangerous to trust her. I know. Destruction is the end. You're too weak. You can't tell me to rest. gaze searching for secrets inside of me secrets that even I can't see I'm not here to fight my past I'm here for Dillian I will fulfill my vow whatever the cost fight each other to the death, and people will forget what they owe their kindred. Times will be hard. Crimes will be great. It will be an age of axes and swords. The wind will blow through abandoned halls. Wolves will walk where children played. The world will fall into ruin. Look what done to you. You've this way. You can't let it go now. I don't know what the other direction was. The final battle. Second perch to the line, the bridge is on to the other bridge. The other path I was asking about. Nope. That was about right. Thank you guys. I've had enough.
kick somebody and they put a sword up and hit you in the foot. I love Senua's hair. I've talked about it before, but like <clears throat> the motion it has. She cannot bark in my She's not strong enough to kill her. What is Hella? No one can bark in with Hella. What is Hella? What can she give her? She could give her her own soul. No. Her soul's rotting. She'd rather die. It's a worthless soul. But it's all she has to give. She has to see it. Bridge. She can't cross the bridge. It's broken. She has to fix it. It's too dangerous. She's done it before. She can't fix it. She's she can. done it before. She can. She can. She'll do she it again. How, she it. How will she do it? Oh, there must be a way. She can see it. The bridge. She can't cross the bridge. It's broken. She has to fix it. It's too dangerous. She's done it before. You have to fight on. The final yes. battle. This isn't just a broken bridge, is it? Mother, you showed me how to see further. To see the hidden wonders in our world and explore new paths into the unknown. To lead so that others may follow or to warn so that they may avoid. That is our gift and our duty. I'm not going to look away in fear anymore. Yes, Queen. She can do it. She can do it. She can still see the secrets of the gods. She, she can think differently. So special. Can do it. She has to see. She has the sight. She can see the secrets. When the night voices are nice for five seconds, it's very, it's awesome. The Northmen say the gods will fight their last battle at Ragnarok. Their watchmen will blow the horn that can be heard through the whole world. And Odin will speak with the severed head of Mimir, which gives him good counsel. The land of the giants will thunder with the sound of their army on the move. The gods will assemble. The dwarves will leave their stones. The frost giants will come from the east. The Midgard serpent will turn up the waves. Eagles will scream and tear at the corpses with their yellow beaks. The ship of the dead will set sail. The way the rot courses through her arm while she's standing is fucking very good. There's an illusion. She's found a way. There's a way. Can any of that stuff line up? Everything is off to the right here. Which, how do I get up there?
That's nothing. It's like a tunnel right here. There we go. I was just not thinking the right way. Northmen say that at Ragnarok the gods will face a ship full of their foes, which Loki has steered to Asgard. It carries the fire giants, the wolf that will eat the sun, and all kinds of dark creatures. Surt will join them with his sword of fire. The cliffs will crash, trolls will walk the land, men will tread the road to hell, and the heavens will split open. Kind of like the rapture, but you know. It can't be the only thing this tunnel's for. There we go. Oh, yeah. Is this right? and up these spiral staircases they built. This looks like a fight room. Saw that coming. seems to have fallen from the last time I died, but I'm not complaining because I don't want to die. Ouch.
Bastards. All right. That's the bridge, y'all. Can you hand me my computer for one second? Multitasking. I said multitasking. Can you put that back over there? Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Had to upload this episode or the last episode while I play this episode. Multitasking. Oh, dummy. That's what happens when you get distracted, though. y'all hopefully this is the uh, final confrontation This guy? Nope. I went for the old tried and true kick him off the bridge strategy with the other two guys. It's nearly over. They're too slow for me, guys. It's easier when there's not two of you. Stop me from sparking them into the abyss. Spartan What the f- 
fuck? Christmas. The path to hell. I can sense her. Where is she going? She's getting closer to hell. She's going to die. I'm scared. Wait. What happens when she dies? What happens to me when she dies? I do. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. It's time to die. Stop saying this. If she sacrifices us. What? What happens when she dies? What happens to us? What happens to us? We die too. Do we die too? We I die don't too. want to die. I don't want to die. We'll all die someday. I don't, I don't want, want to die. die. And when everyone's gone, even the gods will die. I don't want to die. We don't want to die. Stop. I don't want to die. Senua. Stop. Stand Senua. back. Stop. Stop her. Why is she going? Stop. Senua. Stop. Senua. Stop. Stop. What stop. happens to us? Why won't she stop? To die. She won't stop. 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 I'm sorry. I didn't ask you to be a part of me. If you don't want to die with me, then leave me alone. I don't want to die. Please stop. 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 You'll never come back if you go there. There is nothing to go back to. We only have each other now. Don't abandon me. Everyone suffers. They were right about me. Then, then. Listen to me. Not them. They were afraid. Like children scared of the dark. So was I. They made up monsters to fill the void. That doesn't make them real. God, I love this game as much as it makes me uncomfortable. It's so good. It's so well done. You 
Defeat. Defeat the darkness. Face its fear and suffering. What a piece of shit, dude. Defy the gods like your mother, and the darkness will come for you, too. You understand, son? That's why Hella looks like that to her. It was her. all a lie. You are a lie! She didn't defy the gods. She defied you. And so you killed her. You didn't pray to the gods. You prayed to your mother. Your mother. Who was too weak to fight the darkness and abandon you? You tortured her! You killed her! You are the darkness! <laughs> Those rituals, the years of isolation, the pain that still haunts you. It was the only way to fight the curse within you. Stories about generational trauma. It's fucking awesome. Yeah, right. 
yes, it's quiet. Senua has taken control. I can see through your darkness. You're a liar and a murderer. And if you really are Hela, then I have a sword here that can kill a god. Look at me. Not for me, but moving backwards to one in your little past. You're making a mistake searching for Gideon. The same mistake that killed him in the first place. Yourself. You said that it is a lie. The plague of darkness, the butchering of the nearby horsemen. You saw it yourself. You told everyone I was cursed. They believed you. I believed you. Tell me, Senua. Where is Dillion's soul if the darkness is a lie? How you saved him? He's here. I know he's here! Dillion! I know you're here! Hold on! I'll find you! Oh, it's fucking Balrabin. What was that big guy? Surrounded, Senor. 
gonna say, that's a nice opportunity to clear the room a bit. Crazy. Oh, fuck. Let go. Go, Sello. Ha <laughs> ha 
you want me to believe? After all you've done to me? And to him? You're not a lie, but you're a liar! You crawled into me to confuse me and deceive me. But I know it's here. I know you have him. I learned the hard way to not be afraid of death, Sarah. Because a life without loss is one without love. You turn your back on death, and all you can see is the shadow that it casts. The longer you hide from it, the longer the shadow grows until all you can see is darkness. When our time comes, we must look death in the eye and embrace it as a friend. Only then can we let go of our fear. And emerge from our darkness.
never forget what it is like to see the world as a child, Senua. Every autumn leaf is like a work of art. Every rolling cloud a moving picture. Every day, a new story. We too emerge from this magic, like a wave from the ocean, only to return to the sea. of this world never leaves us. It is always there, waiting to be seen again. story to tell. My friend, go with her. This now will be your story. Such a good game. Weird and music. Uh, like, really weird and music. But anyways, uh, <laughs> it's going to be hard if I don't take my headphones off because all I'm going to think about is how weird this song is. It's like, isn't it so strange? Uh, sorry to whoever wrote it, but <laughs> it just reminds me of like something... I think there's a lot. Well, it doesn't fit the rest of the game's like tone and tempo. You know what I mean? But anyways, other than the end music, it's a fucking fantastic game. Uh, the way they talk about generational trauma. I said it earlier, but like the you know the the dad basically convincing him or her Senua and her mom that they're both sick so that he could keep them under thumb and control. You know what this song sounds like? Is something that was translated from another language. It just doesn't quite fit. Oh, as fast as possible. But well, also maybe not. We'll have to look that up. Um. But then, yeah, I mean, you know, it's all obviously about Cinema facing her her past and her demons and the way that they affect you. You know, uh, my one of my favorite <laughs> quotes that I say all the time. It was from Mad Max. I say it to Rachel all the time. It's like that where he goes, uh, if you can't fix what's broken, you'll go insane. You know what I mean? It's true. I mean, it's true. You know, I've spent, I spent a lot of my young life depressed and anxious and um, just in a constant state of disarray and like desperate kind of feeling disarray where I was like, I don't know how I'm going to find my way out of this. You know what I mean? But um I do think you have to look those things in the face and not just run from your trauma and your problems of past, you know. Uh, it's a super difficult task. And, uh, you know, there's people around you who want to help and, you know, who would be more than willing to, uh, you know, hopefully you got to, you know, uh, one can only hope you have a good support system. Um, if not, there's, you know, professionals and stuff out there, like I always say, but, you know, uh, Sometimes you don't even realize that something 
in this case, obviously, you know, Senua being like put underwater or underwater underground and like all that stuff like her very obvious like abusive stuff but we carry some of that shit we don't even know so um yeah i don't know let's just uh try and unpack what you can from uh from your life it's you know as demonstrated in this game and a bunch of other media, you know, we carry, and obviously not just through media, but through like psychological studies and stuff, we carry that with us forever. And it's passed down from generation to generation. So if you're in a family who has a, uh, like a, it's kind of a debilitating uh, cycle of behavior or, you know, a toxic cycle of behavior, like, you know, be the one to break the chain if you can, if you find it within yourself to, uh, to do so it's uh like i said it's hard to do and uh oftentimes like the message is about a family member trying to keep people under thumb and stuff like that are you know kind of easily translatable to our modern world and you know what i mean so uh that's it you know like send away you gotta go find freedom whatever it means to you you can't you know live your whole life for somebody else or you will, you know, you'll lose your mind. So, um, I guess we're just going to let these, uh, credits finish playing out and, um, you know, we'll catch you on the next one. So, um, all that said, you know, obviously, like I always say, and like the gist of that whole speech is, you know, take care of yourselves. Uh, life is overwhelming. Even just the littlest things can be overwhelmingly difficult. So, um, you know, make sure that uh, as your days go, uh, if you'd like to find out more about psychosis and mental health difficulties, visit www.hellbladehelp.info. That's very nice of them. There's a ton of other resources out there too, but um, yeah, that's said, you know, just in your daily lives, try and enjoy a little bit, you know, obviously these big problems all need unpacking and that takes a long time and a lot of dedication and, you know, multiple sessions and, you know, yeah, obviously reach out to somebody if you need help. Right. But, you know, that said, just in your daily life, try and, you know, do things that make you happy. Enjoy yourselves as much as you can. You know, we only have so much time. So enjoy your loved ones while they're here. They could not be tomorrow, you know? So anyways, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye bye. Say bye, bye, Rachel. Peace, everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>